Hi guys, my name is Connie and I am doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use the tab tool or how to create tabs within your website. So for example, you see those pricing, you wanna change the pricing, that tab feature, I will show you a quick preview of what we'll be doing. So it's something like this, where you select tab one and it shows you these packages, tab two, bronze, silver, and gold, and tab three, one, two, and three, and you can add buttons if you'd like. So that will, this is what we'll be creating. And the first things first, I would recommend you to go into Webflow University. It'll be in the link in my bio. The link will be in my bio. And it has a really good explanation on what tabs is. And if you wanna hop back, then you can hop back and follow the tutorial. <clears throat> so let's just get started. So the first thing you wanna do is add a section. Um, if it gives an error, make sure there's your section is not embedded within a section. Make sure it's on its own. So it's my section 10. And then I want to add a container. And control E and add a header or a heading. Oops, a heading. And this is the important part. This is where you're going to add the tab. There you go. And then within your tab, it will have panels. So if you look on the left-hand side, it shows um, it shows tab one, two, and three. So that's where you'll edit, like when you wanted gold, bronze, silver, or gold, you can change it accordingly to these. And this is the menu. So if you want to style it, this is what you'll be styling. And that's the outline. So. I'm gonna just walk through editing tab one. So within tab one, what you wanna do is add a grid. So control E, add a grid, because we're gonna be dividing it into three sections. So three, and then you wanna right click and delete this row and click done. Within this grid, you wanna add a div, oopsies. You wanna add a div block. So control E, add a div block. Um, and then control E, add your regular heading, paragraph, control E, and add your button. Okay, looks good. Since we can't really see it, let's make the background a different color so we can see the div block. Let's make it white for now. Heading, let's change this to Okay, so right now everything's to the left and let's just move everything towards the center. So what you wanna click on is your container, go up into your flex box and then you're gonna, everything's gonna be all weird. So you want it to say vertical and center. Oops. Why didn't it do it to all of them? Okay, I fixed it. Um, you just do the same thing, going to Flexbox, um, vertical and center for tabs, for your tab section. And let's resume. So now you have your heading, paragraph, and button text. And what you wanna do is style the first one and then we can simply copy and paste to the other grids. So then make sure you have your div block selected. I'm at 14 because I created many div blocks. So now what you wanna do is we're gonna add some margins and some padding. So it looks a little bit better. And it's a little too high to the tab section. So I'm gonna add a margin at top. And then now I wanna add some radius to, so the corners would bend in, looks good. So I have div block number 14, copy, control C, control V and control V, awesome. So now this is copied and pasted. Oh, another thing that I do wanna add is to change the button. So for the button, I also want it curved and I want it to reach all the way to the end. So I would change the size. Let's see, the width 
150, 200. You can play around with it to see what you like. Or what if we went 100%? No, that didn't work for me. There you go. Okay, now the button's all the way to the left. And to center it, you want to go under typography and center it. So you're going to control V that and paste it. And now what you want to do is to now you can save your work by control copy and grid on the left hand side, going under panel two and pasting that and three and pasting that. So as you can see, it just saved you a lot of time. So you go to tab number one, two, and three. Now it's all on all of them. Now to style the tab menu, you simply select the tab menu and you can style it however you like. So change the background to white. No. Tabs menu. I like to curve the ends. Okay, so now the navigator, what you want to do is click on the tab and change the color. I'm going to just make it a little transparent. It's going to be like a transparent gray. And then I'm going to do the same for tab two. If you want it to match exactly, you can copy the uh, hex code. And then as you hover over tab number three, it's going to be darker because as you can see on the top right, it says current. So right now this is currently showing tab three. So for example, uh, let's call it blue, red, and yellow. So if you see on the left-hand side, we are currently editing tab number three. This is a little confusing. Inside the content, we are in tab number three and we just edit this heading, this heading, and this heading. So if we were to do a preview, this is tab number three and tab number one should still say heading. So does tab number two, because we did not edit. And tab number three says blue, red, and yellow. And as you can see, as we switch, the color changes depending on what current page we're on. So if you want to edit that color, for example, it's like a darker gray right now. So under current, you would go to the color, um, typography color, and change it to like, I don't know, this pink, or let's keep it consistent, this blue. So if we were to go under the preview, the blue should be moving. So number two, if this one was the current. You can also change the hover but we're not gonna do that. Okay, so at the top right, it needs to make sure it says current and then the tab two will turn blue. So we're gonna, we wanna change this to, right now, two and three should be working, but number one is not working right now. And we're going to edit that one by going, by selecting tab one making sure this is on tab one, going back and, and clicking tab link one. And then you can go edit for that blue, blue color. Ooh. It's around here. And now all of the tabs should be blue once it is clicked. 
So that, so that is the tabs. So that's a quick rundown and a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use tabs and how to style them. So let me know if this was helpful in the comments below. I'll keep learning and showing what you guys I learn on the way. And hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.